Hi friends today we are going to see top most dangerous fishes in the world come let's go many people around the world depend on fishes or products made from fishes for their food and economic livelihood. More than 30,000 different species ply earth's oceans and bodies of fresh water. The beauty of many fish species is highlighted in fish stores, aquariums, and in home collections. Some species, however, have darker, more terrifying aspects. A select few of these may attack human beings, while others might deliver a dose of poison when handled carelessly or not properly prepared for consumption. Some species are maligned due to their shocking appearance or by their ferocious reputation in folklore and myth. However, one species, though cute and tiny, threatens bathers in a very, shall we say, personal way. Number 5 Tigerfish Spanning several species, tigerfishes are so named on the basis of their pugnacity when caught, their fiercely predacious habits, or their appearance. In African freshwaters, tigerfishes of the genus Hydrosnus, sometimes Hydrosian, are admired game fishes of the Characin family, Characidae, order Cypriniforms. They are marked, depending on the species, with one or several dark, lengthwise stripes and are swift, voracious, salmon-shaped carnivores with dagger-like teeth that protrude when the mouth is closed. There are about five species. The largest, H. Goliath, may be more than 1.8 meters, 6 feet, long and may weigh more than 57 kilograms, 125 pounds. The smaller H. Vitatus is claimed to be one of the finest game fishes in the world. In the Indo-Pacific, marine and freshwater tiger fishes of the family Therapinidae, order Pachyph forms, are rather small and usually marked with bold stripes. The three-striped tigerfish, Therapunjabua, is a common, vertically striped species about 30 centimeters, 12 inches, long. It has sharp spines on its gill covers, which can wound a careless handler. Number 4 Piranha Piranha, also called Carib or Piraea, are any of more than 60 species of razor-toothed carnivorous fish of South American rivers and lakes, with a somewhat exaggerated reputation for ferocity. In movies such as Piranha, 1978, the piranha has been depicted as a ravenous indiscriminate killer. Most species, however, are scavengers or feed on plant material. Most species of piranha never grow larger than 60 centimeters, 2 feet long. Colors vary from silvery with orange on the sides to almost completely black. These common fishes have deep bodies, saw edged bellies, and large generally blunt heads with strong jaws bearing sharp, triangular teeth that meet in a scissor-like bite. Piranhas range from northern Argentina to Colombia, but they are most diverse in the Amazon River, where 20 different species are found. The most infamous is the red-bellied piranha, Igocentris naturally, with the strongest jaws and sharpest teeth of all. Especially during low water, this species, which can grow up to 50 centimeters, about 20 inches, in length, hunts in groups that can number more than 100. Several groups can converge in a feeding frenzy if a large animal is attacked, although this is rare. Red-bellied piranhas prefer prey that is only slightly larger than themselves or smaller. Generally, a group of red-bellied piranhas spreads out to look for prey. When located, the attacking scout signals the others. This is probably done acoustically, as piranhas have excellent hearing. Everyone in the group rushes in to take a bite and then swims away to make way for the others. The low-toothed piranha, P. denticulate, which is found primarily in the basin of the Orinoco River and the tributaries of the Lower Amazon, and the San Francisco piranha, P. Piraea, a species native to the San Francisco River in Brazil, are also dangerous to humans. Most species of piranhas, however, never kill large animals, and piranha attacks on people are rare. Although piranhas are attracted to the smell of blood, most species scavenge more than they kill. Some 12 species called wimple piranhas, genus Utopia, survive solely on morsels nipped from the fins and scales of other fishes, which then swim free to heal completely. Number 3 Stonefish 
stonefish are venomous marine fish classified in the genus Sinensea and the family Sinensgidae, found in shallow waters of the tropical Indo-Pacific. They are sluggish, bottom-dwelling fish that live among rocks or coral and in mudflats and estuaries. Thick-set fish with large heads and mouths, small eyes, and bumpy skins covered with walk-like clumps and, sometimes, fleshy flaps. They rest on the bottom, ungrouping, blending almost exactly with their surroundings in form and color. They are dangerous fish, difficult to see, they can, when stepped on, inject quantities of venom through grooves in their dorsal fin spines. Wounds produced by these fish are intensely painful and sometimes fatal. The family Sinens Gidi includes a few other species of robust, warty fish. They are also venomous, though not as notorious as the stonefish. Number 2 Atlantic Manta Manta rays or Devil Rays make up several genera of marine rays comprising the family Mobulidae, class Silicii. Flattened and wider than they are long, Manta rays have fleshy enlarged pectoral fins that look like wings, extensions of those fins, looking like a devil's horns, project as the cephalic fins from the front of the head. Manta rays have short whip-like tails provided, in some species, with one or more stinging spines. Manta rays, related to sharks and skates, are found in warm waters along continents and islands. They swim at or near the surface, propelling themselves by flapping their pectoral fins and, at times, leaping or summersporting out of the water. They feed on plankton and small fishes that they sweep into their mouths with their cephalic fins. The smallest of the manta rays, the species Mobula diabolis of Australia, grows to no more than 60 centimeters, 2 feet, across. But the Atlantic manta, or giant devil ray, Manta Barostris, the largest of the family, may grow to more than 7 meters, 23 feet, wide. The Atlantic Manta is a well-known species, brown or black in color and very powerful but inoffensive. It does not, hold tails to the contrary, envelop pearl divers and devour them. Number 1 Electric Eel The Electric Eel, Electrophorus Electricus is an elongated South American fish that produces a powerful electric shock to stun its prey, usually other fish. Long, cylindrical, scaleless, and usually grey-brown, sometimes with a red underside. The electric eel can grow to 2.75 meters, 9 feet, and weigh 22 kilograms, 48.5 pounds. The tail region constitutes about four-fifths of the electric eel's total length, which is bordered along the underside by an undulating anal fin that is used to propel the fish. Despite its name, it is not a true eel but is related to the characin fish, which include piranhas and neon tetras. The electric eel is one of the principal aquatic predators of the white water flooded forest known as Vazia. In one fish survey of a typical Vazia, electric eels made up more than 70% of the fish by the mass. The electric eel is a sluggish creature that prefers snow moving fresh water, where it surfaces every few minutes to dump in. The mouth of the electric eel is rich with blood vessels that allow it to use the mouth as a lung. The electric eel's punch on for shocking its prey may have evolved to protect its sensitive mouth from injury from struggling, often spiny, fish. The shocked prey is stunned long enough to be sucked through the mouth directly to the stump. Sometimes the electric eel does not bother to stun prey but simply gulps faster than the prey can react. The eel's electrical discharges may be used to keep prey from escaping or induce a twitching response in hidden prey that causes the prey to reveal its position. The tail region contains the electric organs, which are derived from muscle tissue innervated by spinal nerves, and discharges 300 to 650 volts, a charge powerful enough to jolt humans. These organs may also be used to help the creature navigate and to communicate with other electric eels. Thanks for watching our videos. Please subscribe and share our videos for more videos. Bye.